Good afternoon. Yeah, we have a special announcement just for coming today. You get a 24-pack of water and a can of Spam and a life preserver with an anchor attached to it. It'll be waiting for you out in the lobby when you leave. No, we really do thank you for coming today. As you can see, we're doing a little bit of a special thing today, not only by having these uh, illustrious alums here, but also by capturing it for, posteri for posteriority. Uh, oh, that's right. This is being taped too, isn't it? So I can't do that. Yeah, you'll have to edit this out. I apologize. Yeah, we're capturing this. Not We're not broadcasting it right now, but uh, this entire day will be uh, a really beautiful video. And when you hear these two bands, you'll see why we chose today to do this. Um, as, uh, as you probably know, we have a band with five of our... Uh, well-known uh, working alums, some probably more well-known than others, but that's the point. They're all just as busy. They're all making great livings. They graduated from 1986 to about 99, that spread. And that's about 99, I would say, it probably takes 10 years or so to have the plane lift off the runway and start to really get out there and get your name out there. So you will meet those future alums in a few minutes. What you're going to do right now is meet the present students, uh, one of our 24 small jazz groups. These students, for those uh, new people here or visitors, are sort of the cream of the crop. Last year we had about 230 students apply and we accepted 32 out of that. So um, these people, it's a great environment here because they can all play. Everybody can deal on their own instrument. It's just a matter of everybody bringing in their different levels of experience and their different strengths and uh, putting them all together. And this band is led by one of our most veteran faculty. Uh, unfortunately, could not be here today, but uh, Harold Mayburn has taught here for uh, almost 35 years. And uh, his he's has a list of credentials that goes back to the late 50s. For example, there's a YouTube video that's been out. It's, uh, it's, I think it's a, a commercially available, too, of Harold, maybe the same age as these students playing with West Montgomery in Europe. And it goes on and on and on. So, uh, a number of months with Miles Davis, many years with George Coleman, and he has been a great mentor to our students for as I was saying, decades, over three decades now. He taught many of the older students who you'll see in a few minutes, and now you can hear his most recent ensemble that he meets with uh, once a week. He's been here every Tuesday. You can set a clock by his appearance here. Despite the fact that he still tours worldwide, he always works it around his teaching here, and we're the better for it. So I want you to meet these students. First of all, on drums, a gentleman who actually performed last week I usually try to uh, have each student just get one chance at the jazz room so that as many people get to play as possible. And the way the scheduling worked out, this guy, is, uh, this gentleman, is uh, the beneficiary of that, and now so are you. He's a new grad student, also doing great work in our music admissions office, spent a number of years on cruise ships between his undergrad degree at Berkeley and being here, so not only uh, is he a grad student, but he also brings in a lot of uh, the world with him, literally and uh, figuratively. So please meet on drums Mr. Ryan McBride. And speaking of the world, we have a bassist here who is, uh, we're very proud to say, a Fulbright Scholar with us. Um, he is from the Czech Republic via, again, Berkeley in Boston. He is a first year grad student and you know some people when they uh, get a Fulbright scholarship you know they study in Rome or Venice or Paris he studies in Wayne New Jersey which uh, with good reason for the level of playing that I hope he's getting uh, he's a wonderful musician and a great bassist you will enjoy his performance Mr. Zdenek Kansky on bass And on piano, we have a gentleman who transferred here from Rutgers a couple of years ago, and we're very happy to have him here, a fine player who's really uh, taken off in the past year. Mulgrew, 
He's backstage. I hope he can hear this. Mulgrew is uh, very pleased. He was talking to me about him and how he has very high hopes for him, and I join those high hopes. So please meet Mr. Brian Ponton on piano. Yeah, no pressure, Brian. Mulgrew thinks you're going to be a star, but no pressure. It's okay. I, I know you did. Oh, yeah, right. You tra I, I, I blew the whole thing. Yeah, you transferred. Anyway. All right, so now moving on. No, this is, no, this is not a completely different person. Did you, did you hear what I, what I said Mulgrew said about you? Okay, I'll tell you later. Good. It's better that way. <laughs> he doesn't like you much. That's what it is. <laughs> and... <laughs> I'm only kidding. He said some great things about you yesterday, so I'll relay that to you. On guitar, this is actually a mixture. We have two grad students. Brian, you're, I already got other stuff wrong. Are you a junior? Senior. Junior-ish. Te he's technically a senior. He's, he's a senior-ish. Uh, we have uh, also a first-year freshman here from San Francisco, California, a very fine player who uh, we're very glad he came here and he's going to hopefully get as much out of this program as he brings to it. Please meet Mr. Kai Lyons-Custer on guitar. And finally, a very fine alto player, uh, kind of unusual in this, uh, in, in this program. He's from New Jersey, uh, from uh, not this part of New Jersey, down a little south at now what will be named Hurricane Central after the next few days. And um, he is a player who's really developed an amazing amount in his four years here. He um, was a lead alto player of the big band for two years and lent his voice to that. And uh, his sound is uh, sort of the central factor. Great player, but uh, a sound that you'll remember. So please welcome the final member of the Harold Mayburn Ensemble. Please welcome Mr. Kevin Sanchez. The Harold Mayburn Band.
Harold Mayburn's ensemble. Kevin Sanchez on the alto. Kai Lyons on the guitar. Sinek Kansky on the, ba on the bass. Ryan McBride on the drums. And Brian Ponton on the piano. Gentlemen. Okay, we're going to take a short um, intermission before we bring out the alumni, what we call the super band. Some of these guys are uh, uh, from earlier generations, from later generations, the 90s and the 80s, going back a ways. Uh, these five gentlemen you're going to hear in the next set are all out on the scene in one way or another, kind of making a noise as professional jazz musicians. And first of all, I'm, I'm looking out here and I'm saying, you're the brave ones that decided to uh, brave this, the coming Frankenstorm, right? So thanks for that, because, you know, a lot of people could be chicken about that, but you weren't. So we appreciate that. So give us a minute. Uh, we're going to have about a 10 or 15-minute intermission, and we'll come back for the alumni band. Thanks again very much. <laughs> 